shut the fuck up! That is a fucking good cigar. She ain't coming, dude. Just like last time, she's gonna pull the same shit. She's not coming. She'll be here. She's probably just caught in traffic. Maybe one day you can go on a fucking day yeah. by yourself. That'll work out real well, you sarcastic prick, prick, prick. Ooh, ooh, have you heard that new Ember Day CD yet? No. Well, I heard like one song. It's pretty badass. Badass? What the hell's badass? Um, badass? 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 Yeah, it'll probably be all right. I had the last one still and taken no. out of my fucking car. No. It's gonna suck, dude. Let me tell you. The first one might have been all right, but this one's gonna suck. Well, I'll tell you one thing. As soon as it gets on the shelves, I'm getting it. Who are you? Me? Yes, you. Who are you? Where the fuck do you get these things from? Who are you, man? Because you know, this is a fucking good cigar. I usually don't like them. I usually don't like the cigars. They're not for me, but, but this one... These fucking kind, they're enjoyable, over and fucking over again. Who the fuck are you? I would really fucking like to know where I can get these from. Who the fuck are you? Let's just get out of here, guys. She's not gonna come, man. I knew this fucking whore was gonna do this shit. Just there like she last is. Time. That ain't her. She's a bitch. Yes, yeah. she fucking is. There she is, right there. Is that her? Yes. Doesn't look like her. Oh, hey, Julie. What's up, guys? Hey, how you doing? Um, you? sorry I'm late. Traffic is a mess. It's cool. Don't worry about it. I'm just glad I didn't see these assholes right here. What are you talking about? Yeah, Jim. What are you talking about? 
Well, you guys are the ones that wanted to leave, but I was like, no, man, let's stay in wait for her. You it's fuck. probably just traffic. You had not even gotten here on time. I didn't push you out the fucking door. Whatever, dude. That's nothing uh, like this. how it went. Now that we're all here, let's just go inside. You ready yeah? to go? go inside. Definitely. Are you going to kill Answer one of my questions. I don't feel the need to answer any of your questions yet. Yet? Yet. Well, I at least deserve to know why I'm tied up. Fucking two faced pieces of shit. What? Fucking flimsy personalities. Fucking rubber brains. You are going to kill me. I'm trying to fucking vent to you right now. And you're being very, very selfish. I didn't see a selfish side to you. You don't know a fucking thing about me. If you mention yourself one more time, I'm going to slice your fucking neck with a dull nail file. People bring me down. I can't let them. I used to enjoy hanging out with all different kinds of people, socializing, fucking social butterfly. Now I can think of nothing more than fucking killing them in extremely creative ways. It's not your fault. No, it's not my fault. People bring this on themselves. What the hell did you do? God, a perfect being. Even his patience was t tested by sorry ass people. Well, you're pretty fucking far from God. Well, congratulations on talking about something other than yourself. But you don't know the first fucking thing about me. I'll be the first person to admit that I'm not perfect. Hell, I'm probably more fucked up than the rest. But I am me. No matter who I'm with, no matter who I'm fucking around, no, no matter fuck, I, I'm always myself. I'm always fucking honest. And I have, I'm fucking yet to see one other individual with that characteristic. What the fuck does this have to do with me? You listen to Amber Days? What the fuck is Amber Days? Well, you listen to them. So that should narrow down your choices a little bit. <laughs> See, that's what I'm fucking talking about! Everybody always fucking, you know, you, you... Fuck it! You knew exactly what I was talking about when I said Amber Days, you stupid fuck. But you, instead of answering the fucking questions, no, no! You had to try to belittle me, you selfish motherfucker! Sorry. Have you heard of Amber Days? I've heard of Amber Days. I just haven't listened to their music. Say your friend absolutely loved Amber Days. We're their favorite fucking band. And you didn't even really know of them. Would you go out and buy their new CD as a sorry ass attempt to make your friend jealous? Hell no. Assholes do that kind of shit. 
Yeah, you'd like to stick a knife right in your stupid fucking ass throat, wouldn't you? On the same note, say another person came around who didn't like Ember Days. Would you, flimsy personality like, be a fuckhead and say that you didn't like Ember Days either to try to belittle your friend in front of this other person? That takes a real insecure asshole. Exactly! It's fucking exactly! People always feel sorry for insecure assholes, but I say fuck that! They're the biggest assholes on the fucking planet! <laughs> and then, they take comfort in being able to blame that on being insecure. They sure do. They sure do. So what are you guys doing tonight? Uh, probably gonna go see a movie. I think I'm just gonna go home. Why? I thought we were gonna go see this movie. I don't feel like it anymore. Are we still going or what? I still wanna go. What movie are you going to see tonight? See that Ember Days documentary. What the fuck is it called? Oh, I know what the name is. It's called Dumbass Documentary is what it should be called. What the fuck are you talking about? You said you liked their last album. Seriously, how many times do I have to tell you that just because I like the first one doesn't mean I'm gonna like the second one? The second one. Let's just automatically assume that you're not gonna like the second one even though they've already fucking proved themselves to you. Oh, uh, I don't really like Ember Days. Like Ember Days. They're too draining. 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 Yeah. I know what you mean. I don't want to see that stupid ass movie, man. Come on. Yeah. Uh, see what are your heart. Is that the one with Douglas Lee? Douglas Lee? Douglas Lee? I thought you weren't going. Well, I changed my mind. Yeah, it's the one where the guy gets sent off to war and he buys his wife a pager with a heart on it and says, Oh, it's yeah. And he loses the cell phone and. <laughs> Best I've ever tasted. Yeah, my brother put me on to him. That's odd. Family convincing each other to smoke. It's usually the other way around. Nah. He used to keep him in his underwear drawer. And I'd take one here, there. Damn. That's a fucking underwear drawer. That's why I like him so much now. They tasted like shit underwear for so long that when I finally got old enough to buy my own, woo. Fucking magnificent. Magnificent, huh? Yeah. They're a pretty fucking good cigar. You know what makes them so good, though? What's that? For me, at least, they take me back. Every time I smoke one, it takes me back to that carefree time I had when I was just a child. Everything was so much easier and two-dimensional and just simple. Blindness was bliss. I can beg for blindness. Being a kid, so much easier to accept people. I think happy people maintain that blindness. I don't know. All I know is I loved it. Yeah. Now things all fucked up. Why you got me tied up? Because I am going to kill you. Why? Why are you gonna kill me? What the fuck did I do to you? deserve this
fuck is this? Adam and Steve? <sighs> Hey, 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 hey. Now that'll be going a little too far now. Hey, help yourself. Ah, oh, fuck! How fucking old is that shit? That is fucking nasty! fucking shit to eat in here, man, and I'm hungry. What the fuck? If I knew you was coming over, I would've went to the grocery store for you. Yeah? You like pizza? I don't have much of an appetite right now. Cause I'll tell you, I fucking love it. You know what my problem is? Every time I'm craving the shit, my wallet just doesn't seem to afford it. You know what I'm saying? But you know what my bigger problem is? What? What's worse than that is, certain pizza places accept checks. So my $15 pizza ends up being a $50 pizza when my check bounces like an 11 year old boy on the King of Pop. But do you know what's even worse than that? What? The fact that I don't give a shit. I could care less. See, I'm more concerned about me being hungry today than being in poverty tomorrow. You know your brain's preparing you to not last when it starts fucking thinking like that, you know what I'm saying? So, you carefree. Everybody's carefree, that don't mean shit. But I do care. I care that I don't care. And guess what? I fucking worry. I worry that I don't worry. I'm fucked up, man! I ain't arguing with you on that. Fucking A. You better not be fucking arguing with me. I mean, let me ask you something. You think crazy people were born crazy? Of course not. Well, I mean, what the fuck? I mean, you you think you ever do you ever wonder, you know, what they were like? Do you think they were like you? And then they just woke up one day and they were crazy? Or was it a gradual thing that just slowly took over? Well, worrying about me. That keeps me thinking enough. I can feel myself losing my mind a little more every day. Suicide becomes more and more plain, ordinary. You should get help. Why? Why the fuck should I get help? To delay a process it's meant to be? <laughs> Nobody's meant to kill themselves. Fuck you, they're not. I fucking hate people that try to live off of generalizations. Do you think that one fucking thing could be summed up in one statement in this fucked up world? No! No! Nothing could be summed up in one statement in this fucked up world. Nothing, and everybody who's trying to figure it out has lost their fucking mind! Is that what happened to you? Man, I don't make the fucking choice to think about this shit. It just spills into my fucking head every single day. Oh, so it's your head, your brain. It's, it's not your fault. It's an irreversible fucking process. Every single day, just twist up and twist up more and fucking more. Fucking flimsy personalities. The way the fucking rain sounds when it hits the roof of your car. And the cell phone's ringing. And shit is piling down. And you owe this guy money and that guy money. And there's this and that and that and this. And you put gas in your car. And the fucking gas just runs out of your car. You clean your room. Your room gets messy again. You fucking make up with people. You break up with people. Everything is so fucking repetitive. It kills me every fucking day. Gotta learn to deal with it. Fuck that! What kind of fucking stupid fucking world makes you deal with it or else you die? This one! Well, I can't fucking take it. I can't. What the fuck do you want on your pizza? I'm not hungry. What the fuck do you want? Fuck it. It's your loss. Go fuck yourself, you twisted sick fuck! This ass, sorry ass, can't do anything. Fuck, you always have to make people feel like shit. Stupid, insecure fuck. Got into you, dude. Got into you, got into you. I'm 
mean, make people feel like shit. What the fuck do you think you're doing to me? What the fuck do you think you're doing to me? So, does anybody know what? So, does anybody know what time one of your hearts starts? I don't know. It just came out. Yeah, don't worry. Sure, they'll be playing it in half an hour rotation. is pretty mainstream. Everybody simply fucking loves Douglas Lee. Hey, he's, Douglas Lee, Douglas is, Lee awesome. is awesome. He's badass. What are you talking about? You were just telling me last night how much you hated him and how much you thought Wally well, Hard is gonna suck. Ah, uh, that wasn't me. I'm sorry. My breaking our silent agreements never open our mouths and say anything that might better ourselves in any kind of way. Well, you know what? Dude, you're being an asshole right now. At least people are surprised that I'm an asshole. You're such a pessimistic piece of shit, son of a bitch all the time. No one even realizes Fuck it. Fuck you, man. No one. He's so big and bad, can't take a little dose of honesty. You so big and bad, Look, everybody, Let me this is a part where he shows us how smart he is by resorting to violence because he can't think of anything else to say. He's a fucking idiot, fucking idiot, fucking asshole. Fuck away, fuck away, fuck away. You guys can all fuck away. Jackass. What an asshole. I don't know what you mean. Do you really think that what are your heart is stupid? No, I really like him. Great, I just love Douglas Lee. Yeah. Me too. can you say fuck everybody and leave it at that? Like I said, fuck everybody. That's such a bold statement. Fuck you. Now that's a little bit more believable. You can't just generalize and say fuck everyone and you ain't ever met everybody yet. Everybody's the same. You an asshole if you think that. But you got a point. Everybody is the same. Where the fuck did you come from pulling that out your ass? You just told me you'd give everybody a fair chance. Well, I changed my mind. Surprise, surprise. Wishy-washy bastard. I mean, what the hell? Fuck everybody? You saying fuck me? Fuck your mom? Fuck your dad? Fuck everyone? You goddamn right. Fuck you. <laughs> damn, it felt good. That's some good shit. You know what I'm saying? Every fucking time. There's this problem I got. Whenever I'm about to eat something, I feel this fucking urge to take a piss. Like I haven't, like I haven't taken a piss in years. Like I could have this beautiful, fan fucking tabulous plate in front of me. You know what I'm saying? Like my favorite fucking meal, like pepper steak and rice. I love that shit, man. I could have that sit in front of me. I can't fucking enjoy it. It's like I haven't taken a piss in years. If I mean, when I get a plate of food in front of me, if I haven't just taken a piss. It's like it, I don't fucking know. I have to go or I can't enjoy it. Same thing with books and movie stores. When I'm looking through books and movies and shit, it's like my body feels that I'm gonna be there for a long time and shit, so, like, I have to take a piss. I just get that sudden fucking urge, like I haven't taken a piss in forever. It sucks. <laughs> I will tell you that much. It's like a constant everyday chore. It fucking sucks. Why you doing this to me, man? I got problems too! We can help each other out! Nobody's that bad off! We are gonna help each other out. What's going on, man? I got How's it going? one medium with extra cheese on it. Correct. Oh, Ow! Cool. Hey, man, he tried to kill me! I'm stuck up here! So Shut the, the fuck up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! You did this! You fucking killed it! You killed it! Who? You. What the fuck? I'm out of here, man! Fucking pizza fuck! Police are here, man! Police! Let me, man! Go to the police! Get me! You fucking kill me! Don't fucking kill me!
guy. Those pizza guys can fucking run. Holy shit. Fucking, fucking lost all the fucking pizza. Oh, I don't fucking pay for it. You know, you got a different kind of tip than what I usually give those motherfuckers. <laughs> fucking tipping my fucking knife, man. You know? You know what I'm saying? Holy shit, was that a rush? I haven't got to do that since a little bit earlier today. Whoa! Whoa! Shit! That's fucking good stuff! Oh, fuck. You were twisted. This is a good fucking pizza, man. Huh? You got problems, man. You know what I really like on my pizza? Ranch. You know what I'm saying? Um, the fucking pizza places never give me enough fucking sauce, man. Always piss me off, man. So what I do was, I had to find something to dip it in that I had around the house. Naturally, ranch. I dipped it in ranch. I was real big on ranch at the time and shit. You know, it was the fucking best. Had a lot of it around. So I tried it. And it was good. It was damn good. Mm. You one sick motherfucker. You got any ranch? No, I don't. Oh, fuck it. I'm not gonna piss and moan like a little whiny bitch. Like the rest, the rest of this. Fox! <laughs> oh, you not? No, I'm not. I mean, don't get me wrong. I like the fucking vent. There's a big difference between venting and and what was what was me. I didn't know that. Hear me out. Venting. You gotta get the shit off your chest. You know what I'm saying? I mean, if you don't, it's gonna fucking explode inside of your heart. It's a necessity to get that shit out. What was me? That's like looking for something to bitch about constantly. Fucking. I have to shit ain't even legitimate. And even when something is legitimately wrong, they don't do anything to fix it because it's almost like they want shit to bitch about. You vent? Hell yes I vent. I mean, don't get me wrong. I've given up. But I put in the good fucking fight before I threw in that towel. What the hell are you gonna do? I repeat, what are you going to do? What the fuck are you gonna do? You know, I've always been a spontaneous kind of guy. I usually just dive right into something and hope that something really fucking magnificent comes to me before the moment of opportunity passes. Well, I hope nothing comes to your sick, twisted fucking mind before this opportunity passes. <laughs> what the fuck do you care? <laughs> you die either way. You dying is what signifies the moment of opportunity in this given situation. The situation that we are in. I just hope I come up with something really fucking brilliant before the moment of opportunity passes. Fuck! Man, y'all crazy. Y'all wanna run up to the high school? I need to pick up some paperwork. I'm thinking about going back to college. Sure. I mean, I just want to learn everything, man. I want to learn, like, every language. I just want to learn everything. Man. You say that over and over again, and you never do anything. It's different this time. <laughs> I think I'm going to do it. Okay. Man, you really should go back to college, man. It'll take you a lot further than life. What the hell? You just told me no more than 48 hours ago, college is for ordinary assholes who want an ordinary life. What's wrong with an ordinary life? Fuck an ordinary life, that's what. 
I'm not trying to go back to college just to be ordinary, okay? I'm trying to go back to be smart. Man, you won't be ordinary. Can you ever make up your fucking mind? Oh, yeah, you already have. You try to please everybody that you hang around. You know what? Fuck it. I gotta take a piss. You two make me want to puke like a fucking Olsen twin in this bitch. You. What you gonna do? The fuck you gonna do? Fuck you. Huh? Yeah. I'm getting pretty brave. For being tied up. Oh! Bravery ain't got shit to do with it. You know how they told me you gonna kill me no matter what I say or do, so fuck you! Yeah! What? Oh, you, come on! Untie me. Untie me, you sick fuck. But you're forgetting. You were untied. And this, this is what fucking happens. Oh, I fucked up my Christmas lights. You snuck up on me. I wasn't fucking ready. Well, you see, that's the thing. In this world, in this fucking stop. In this fucked up world, you should always be ready for something to just come up behind you and just. Fucked up your whole year! This life is unfair. There's no getting in one corner like it's in the other. And then ding 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 and everything is fine and dandy. There's no referee. There's no fouls. There's no hitting below the belt and you're out. No, it's hitting you in the cock over and over and over again. It's waiting until you're not looking, and then it's coming up from behind you and fucking you right in the ass. Yeah, you're a fucking puppet. This fucked up world is using you as a tool to mess up another life. Congratulations, you're working for your fucking enemy. Fuck it. I don't try to overanalyze shit. I'll just get you all fucked up. You don't know what you do. <clears throat> do you know why most people don't like certain people? Because most people don't like themselves. Bullshit. Think about it. Would you like to hang out with a reflection of yourself all fucking day long? Imagine being a different person every day. You'd hate everyone. Fuck yeah! You like some people some days and hate the same people other days. Fucking sucks. It's a mind shattering cycle. It does fucking suck. I 
am a different person every fucking day. I mean, it's not like I make a conscious decision to do this. I wake up every day and I am a different person. I mean, I am fucked up! I think I'm the greatest person to walk the earth! I'm a fucking genius! I have more insight than anybody! I have enough insight to know that nothing in this fucking world is certain! I'm fucking smart enough to know that I know absolutely nothing! Nothing! The world is not a fucking math problem! The world is not a math problem. It cannot be figured out. And I'm smart enough to know that. I am a genius because I know fucking nothing! I hate people because I hate myself. I'm a hypocrite. I'm a fucking liar. I'm a backstabber. I'm fucking selfish. I've got ambitions. They're selfish. I hate the whole fucking world because they are just like me. They are just like me. Wouldn't it be a generalization to say everyone's the same? Keep them in my underwear drawer. Right or left dresser? Left. Damn, that's a good fucking cigar. <sighs> Why me? What? Why me? No, it's nothing personal. Obviously. I've never met you before. How could it be personal? It's not. So why? Some things aren't meant to be figured out. Oh, fuck that. It's probably another bullshit line. Some things aren't meant to be figured out. Some shit to, so you don't have to pursue any kind of fucking knowledge. Man, what a fucking joke. Why are you so hard on yourself? My mind is hard on me. I gave up control of that a long fucking time ago. Everyone's a fucking joke. Yeah, but not everyone knows it. I do. Yeah, so do I. Fuck you. No. I mean me. I'm a joke too. I hate people for things I do. I'm a hypocrite. I'm a fucking joke. Everyone is to an extent, but I think some people are just better at masking it. You can't mask that shit from me. I see right through them. I read them like a fucking novel. No, not masking it from anyone, from themselves. So they better cope with it. But considering where they are now and where you are now, it's in your best interest to mask it. Fuck that, what kind of world makes you mask yourself in order to live happily ever after? This one. So I guess I'd pick you up, say at about uh, eight. I have some friends with you too, because I got a couple of my friends. Come on and go with me. So, you throw up? Nah. It's crazy motherfucking the bathroom right now. I ain't trying to get killed. <laughs> Scary ass. Look, man. When I said going to college would make you normal, I didn't really mean it like that. Whatever. It's always a fucking excuse. We going up to the high school or what? Nah, man. Fuck it. Way to go, dickhead. You just talked him out. Whatever. Up. He knew he wasn't going to do it before he even fucking said it.
I hate everybody I hang around. They make me hate life. And anything that they're a part of can't be great. Fucking A. I know exactly what you're talking about. I mean, is life so horrible that you can't be content with anything, including yourself? And is it so hard to be the same person no matter who you're around? Trust me. I understand more than you could possibly imagine. But I'm never content. I mean, there are different degrees to everything. You can't just generalize everything. I think it's safe to say different people share the same characteristics for different reasons. Look at it. One guy, he may never be content with anything he does because he thinks so highly of himself, so nothing's ever good enough to him. Then on the other hand, you got this insecure asshole. Nothing he ever does is good enough because he just doesn't think he can do anything good at all. All I know is it's fucking annoying. It brings me down. I just wish I would have taken care of it before it was too late. Taking care of it. I wish I would have had the mindset to eliminate anything that brought me down in any kind of way. And now it's too late. wasn't gonna do it before you even fucking said it. Man, I didn't decide anything before I said anything. I'm sure you wanted to go to college when you said that. Man, fuck all this shit, man. Man, I'm tired of all these constant negative vibes from y'all. What? Negative vibes? Like you so fucking positive. That's just like you. Soon as somebody say something about you, you wanna turn around on them. Man, fuck you. Like you so perfect. Oh, I can't do no mistakes. No, not me. Oh, no. Man, why the fuck you gotta be such an asshole? You a fucking dickhead, man. Psycho bastard. Man, come Let's on, get man. Get around this, this motherfucker man. here, man. Could you please tell me why you picked me? Why do you even have to kill me? It's obvious that all your problems are because of you. Sad day when you realize that. You think of all the people that really get under your skin. You realize you are that. You think of all the times that you were sure you were right. You think of the person that you were sure was wrong. They were sure that they were right too. I mean, it's like we're all programmed to think the same. Programmed to think that we're the center of the fucking universe.
Like you're the only one that has it figured out. It's like our minds are set that way. So we fall that much harder the day we realize that we are not God. through my head, all slapping the same fact in my face that I have been a fucking joke my whole entire life. How do you walk away from that? How do you forget? How do you mask that? How do you mask that and just walk away? You can't do it. You can't fucking do it. Why am I so fucked up? Fuck! What the fuck is killing me gonna accomplish? Answer me! What the fuck is killing me gonna accomplish? You fuck! <laughs> to do this. Why? It is too late to turn back now. This is my life. Fuck you. I have plans for my future. I'm getting married. You only get one chance. One fucking chance. And you're gonna steal that away from me? You're gonna fuck up my one chance? Why? Because you're fucked up. It is always raining in my mind. Fuck you. Why are you doing this? Why do you have to do this? list what the fuck did you do with my friends what you thought about doing to them on more than one occasion what the fuck did you do <sighs> I'm gonna kill you I'm going to fucking kill you oh, fuck you you asshole and you a fucking favor and you're fucking justice! Just because I thought about it!
They were my fucking friends! Do you know that perfect God that once lost his patience to this stupid little fucking pathetic world? Well, he said, hate the sin, not the sinner. That totally changed my perspective on shit, man! Why am I here? I'm not even on your fucking list. Who the fuck is Louis Spencer? I'm Louis Spencer. See, I knew it wasn't gonna last one more year in this fucked up of a world, or my fucked up of a head. One or the other. Either way, I was a fucking goner. But if I was gonna go, I was gonna take whoever helped me get there right along with me. But do you know what it would do to my family and my friends to find out that Louis Spencer killed his two friends, then took his own life, they'd be fucking devastated. So I learned of this hate the sin, not the sinner rule. And it hit me. My friends didn't lead me down this path. No, oh, no, no, no. It was my sins. And their fucking sins. So, what do I do in order to satisfy my sick fucking urges to cast a fucking couple of demons out before ending it all? You find someone else to pin it on, and you kill people close to them instead. Exactly! Ex fucking exactly! Oh, but it can't just be anybody. It has to be someone who has acquaintances much like my own. And you, my friend, fit the roster fucking perfectly. You're out of your fucking mind. You may not have seen me that day at the restaurant, but I saw you. And I saw how disgusted you were with your asshole friends. <laughs> they were assholes. A little bitch Tim is talking shit right till he bled his last drop. What are you gonna do? It goes like this. Enough people saw through to you enough to know how you felt about your so-called friends. So I'm sure when they turn up dead, and you turn up dead, they ain't gonna question it. Fuck you. You know what? I got this all figured out. This is not about me. This is about your pathetic life. You trying to go out in the blaze of glory that only you and the creator knows. But you know what? I know. And I'll always know. You didn't fucking beat me. Well, you know what? Just fucking kill yourself. Let's just get it over with. End it. You want to end it? Or just take it out. Take yourself out. Just Fuck you. It. Fuck you. And I'm sorry. This is how it has to be. It doesn't have to be this way. Fuck you. Look, you. You leave right now. I'll take the blame for Chris, Tim, and I won't. I never saw you. I won't tell anybody. I, I, if you've never been here, I'll even wipe your prints. Off of all this shit, I will take the blame. You can go just free. It has to be like this. Wait, 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 wait! Can I have a puff on my cigar?
Recognition of me flashing on the screen. 